Hey guys, Drew here over at Rev Hiker Outdoors, and uh, I got a video for you today. It's an idea that I had last night, and you know, as I kind of think, I'm always thinking about different ways uh, for fire and emergency, and different ways to carry fire for uh, ultralight backpacking and things like that. And some of the things that you want to consider as far as uh, fire starting is how long it's going to last, and will it work in bad weather? Will it uh, you know, work in the rain or if things are wet and and how long is, uh, you know, like if you're bringing, everything is consumable. So obviously a ferro rod is probably going to last the longest, but it's not always the most convenient. And in all reality, how long are you going to be in the woods? Uh, so I think some of the arguments, you know, people say that lighters are the most ridiculous things ever because they can this, that, and the other thing. Well, I wanted to make a video today. I had an idea about Zippo lighters. Now, there are some complaints that are pretty legitimate about Zippos. Uh, one thing is that you have to refill them all the time, and it's kind of a pain in the butt, uh, you know, because the, the fuel will just evaporate. Um, but they work awesome when they have fuel. So I started thinking about if this is something that I would carry uh, in the woods, if I would carry it when I was going to be on a long hike if something could happen or if I wanted to put this in something like a bug out bag. Now some people say no you don't because in a bug out bag or in a survival thing like that you want something that's going to last and, and this can run out. And that's very true. Uh, the one thing that you could do if you were to store one of these is fill it up with fluid and you know then uh, vacuum seal it or seal it up somehow so that the fumes would not evaporate. Uh, but once you started using that, then the fuel could run out, and if you're using it a lot, it could run out in a week. Uh, sometimes they really don't last that long with the modern fuels that have to be, you know, this, that, and the other thing. So anyway, I started thinking about, well, would a Zippo be any good after it ran out? So what I have here is a second Zippo that I don't really carry. Uh, I, like, I like the brass one better than this. And this thing is totally dead. Fuel is just Gonsville. Will not, will not light. So I started thinking, is a dead Zippo still good for lighting a fire? So stay tuned. I'm going to bring the camera in closer and talk a little bit about the uses for a Zippo after the fuel's dead. Okay, guys, so here we are with our lighters. Again, this uh, brass one is the one that works. And this one... She's dead as a doornail, as far as the fluid goes. Uh, so what we're going to do with this is I'm going to attempt to make this work without fluid uh, and prove that it, it can be still a viable source. Now, uh, this is packed with rayon. It's not, it's a synthetic stuff. It doesn't take a spark all that easily from what I understand. So what I'm going to do is take just a little piece get it nice and fluffy and we're gonna give that a try that's about as fluffy as I can get it right at the base there so this is really just getting caught up in the wheel instead of lighting and I kind of had a feeling that would happen. So what I did is I went and I grabbed some cotton balls because I'm pretty sure I should be able to get them going. So I'm just going to take a cotton ball and uh, just take a fine little piece off of it. Really try to get it kind of fluffed pretty good. And let's see if we can get this to go. There we go. So there was that. There we go. Okay. So there you have it. Maybe not the best, but it'll do the job. The rayon definitely wasn't lighting, but with a little work, you can light up some cotton with this thing once it's dead. So even though it's 
has no fluid in it, I think it would still be viable uh, for making fire. Now, let's just, uh, I'm going to try something here. And uh, come on, you. Come on out of there. Hmm. That does not want to move. There we go. So just loosen this up. I've had I had someone criticize me for for using this to open up a box. I just kind of laughed at them. I said, "They're like, why are you using such a, an expensive knife to do that?" I said, "Well, why not? I bought a good knife, so it would work well." So anyway, you guys can get mad, but I'm still going to continue to use my knife because that's what it's meant for is to be used. So I'm going to dig some of this out. And uh, I'm going to see if I can replace all of this synthetic stuff with cotton. Then I'm going to try to fill it with fluid and see if the cotton is as good as the rayon. And you know what I'm thinking is really, I could probably leave a little bit of the rayon in there. But I'm just I'm going to go full cotton so that we have the maximum amount of useful tinder once this thing dies and they packed a massive amount into this thing good grief wow so all of that rayon came out of this thing so let's see what I can do here I do have a few cotton balls Now, let's, uh, let's try and fill this thing and see if it's going to work for us. This is the Zippo brand fuel, so I'm guessing that should do the trick. Give it a couple squirts in there. Let it soak down in for a second. Get this thing loaded back in its container. And we'll see if we can make a half decent survival lighter with this thing. Might take a minute for everything to soak up in there. Uh, anyway, let's just talk for a minute while I'm waiting for this to soak in. Um, the other cool thing about Zippos is if they do take a dive and you run out of fluid, there, there are a variety of other fuels that you can use. Obviously, they're not recommended. They're not going to burn as clean, and they're probably going to shorten the life of your lighter. And they could even be dangerous if you use things like gasoline. I have seen where people have used it, um, it, it but like I said, it's just not all that safe. So anyway, let's. Uh, there we go beautiful thing so I guess if you really wanted to you could turn your Zippo into a survival Zippo and even when your fluid runs out you can just uh, pop this bad boy out whoop that's warm you could pop this out and uh, you know you've got a bunch of really good tinder in there that you can light as we've shown with this wheel not the absolute best thing but it comes with a quite a bit quite a bit of tinder in there that's going to be easy to light so if you do your work and you gather some tinder out in the woods uh, it's certainly enough of a flame to ignite some other good tinder sources so I did want to cover a couple more uh, little tips and tricks uh, with your zippos on this one, what I have, because this is the one I carry, uh, I keep, and you should be able to see it quite easily, keep two extra flints in there. You can also, it's a little cumbersome, but you can coil up an extra wick in there just in case, although that certainly isn't uh, as important because the wicks last a long time and they give you a pretty long wick in there. 
So, uh, but I did want to let you know that that's a great thing to do is to carry a little extra flint in there because, uh, especially in a survival type thing, you're going to run out of fuel, but you're still going to want to have plenty of sparks to get that tinder going. Uh, now, here's here's the reality of it, guys, and this might be just a little bit of my my thoughts on survival. I think a lot of the survival stuff that's out there is a little bit overdone. Uh, it's almost to the point of, of being goofy because guys have, you know, nine different redundancies for everything that they've got. And uh, in all reality, how many times are you really going to face a survival situation? Uh, I think about the worst thing that could happen here is that you go to light your, your stove or something or you go to light a fire to cook when you're camping and you're backpacking or something. You say, ah, oh, crap, things out of fluid. So... You know, really, 99% of the time, the worst case scenario is just going to be an inconvenience. It's really not life or death. However, I do believe in being prepared. So I think it would be a good idea to take the rayon out of these, replace it with some cotton, because it does seem to work. And, uh, you know, carry a couple extra flints in there just in case anything decides to, to go wrong. Because, uh, you know, we all know that things can go wrong. So anyway, guys, uh, I appreciate you watching. Just a couple little Zippo tips, tricks, survival hacks, whatever you want to call it. Um, and maybe not survival, but more just preparedness, being prepared for situations that you could encounter. So just remember that uh, you can certainly revamp your little Zippo to be a little more convenient and to store its own, um, uh, excuse me, Tinder in there. No, one thing I did want to say. The rayon that you pull out will light with a flame, but with the spark generated from this, it's kind of difficult. It doesn't take this spark particularly well, but if you took some of this rayon and put a flame to it, that's going to go up like, like crazy. But as far as the tiny sparks, it doesn't. It, I had a much harder time lighting it than I did with the cotton. So anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the little uh, survival Zippo video that I had an idea for. It might have been done before on YouTube, but uh, hey, it's my channel. I wanted to redo it. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate the support. And uh, remember to keep an eye out for uh, my the giveaway video. Uh, I did the giveaway, but I'll be closing that pretty soon and announcing the winner. So if you didn't, uh, go ahead and stop over to my survive or the uh, giveaway video and uh, follow the instructions there. Uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, like and share this video. It really helps me out. And um, God bless, guys. Have a great day.